Taurus rising. November looks like a month where we are deeply asking ourselves, who is our true partner? The emphasis is on who we are in business or in contract with, and also canceling or eliminating partnerships that no longer serve us. So from November 2nd to the 3rd, we have the sun in your seventh house, making an opposition to Jupiter in your first. You are operating from a place of, I wanna look good, I wanna feel good, I wanna do what's best for me, and this is positively impacting your relationship space in one way or another. You showing up leads to a glow up in this area of your life. And on November 4th, Saturn in Pisces stations direct in your 11th house. This is a moment where we have full clarity on all the ways we self undo as it relates to like group thought or social networking. You may have found that there are people pleasing tendencies or porous boundaries that put you in a position of just surrendering to what others want at the expense of going to war with yourself. So from this point forward, it's how do I implement the self-discipline to prevent these energetic exchanges from taking place. On November 3rd to the 4th, we have Venus and Virgo in your fifth house, making an opposition to Neptune and Pisces in your 11th. So you are, things are going really well for you. You're feeling hot, artistic, passionate, creative, and you're attracting these partners that seem delicious, but it's delusional. And I'm sure you can sense it. And it leads to confusion. If something is too good to be true with a specific someone, please resist during this time, especially for you. On November 6th to 7th, Venus and Virgo trines Pluto and Capricorn. If you give in or if you don't, there is something that you're gonna learn about yourself in the process. Uh, ninth house, meaning of life. You're going to be refining your philosophy around love, around creativity, or around passion in a way that releases you from something that previously kept you chained. November 6th to the 7th, we have Venus and Virgo in your fifth, making a try and ask. Oh, I just said that. Okay, so November 8th is Venus and Libra in your sixth house. Venus does so well in Libra, which says that your health regimen is becoming very important. Your work relationships are strengthening. You are glowing and you're shining in the workplace. Yay! This could also be a time where your health is taking like center stage and you also have the right partners and people around you to support you in this new goal that you have. Mercury enters Sagittarius on November 10th. This is your eighth house. Mercury doesn't do well in Sagittarius. Mercury wants to go in and examine the details and be very concise and consistent. Sagittarius wants to zoom out and it wants to make meaning. It wants to philosophize. That's a word. <laughs> And so this shows that you are beginning to think about long-term investments or just your financial standing. There, there is an emphasis on finances. On November 12th, there is a new moon in Scorpio conjunct Mars in your seventh house. This is you signing a contract with somebody or beginning a new relationship. And but also, it does feel like an uphill climb. You understand that the people around you are not going to get what you're doing or that the person that you're partnering with is going to require a little bit more tolerance. It just feels intense, but the beginning of something new with somebody that you would trust. On November 12th, we have Mars and Scorpio in your seventh house, making an opposition to Uranus and Taurus in the first. So your partner is wanting to will something into existence, and this brings about some unexpected breakdowns and breakthroughs in your identity. I think this is wonderful. The other way this could play out is the way that you appear in life is, is kind of changing right now. Taurus is very stable and fixed and consistent, but the way that you're showing up for your partner is causing for deep transformation and above all, honesty and liberation. On November 13th, the sun in Scorpio makes an opposition to your, your Uranus and Taurus. So your partner illuminates why they are behaving in the way that they're behaving, and you're still like, great, saw it coming. <laughs> There's total clarity though. There is a gravitational pull to focus on what it is that your partner is doing, and it feels beneficial in the end. On November 15th to the 21st, we have sun in Scorpio conjunct Mars in Scorpio in your seventh house this is let's fight if you're in a new relationship with somebody they're exhibiting behavior that is really off-putting and almost scary not to the point of being dangerous but like they want to pick a fight with you 
and you're like, hmm, not sure that I want to engage. The other hand of this, if you are dating somebody, plan a competitive activity. Like do something where you guys can both burn off steam because the person in your life is just acting chaotic or trying to impose their will onto you in a way that feels unnatural. In fact, like oppositional to what you're trying to accomplish. On November 16th to the 18th, we have Mars and Scorpio making a trine aspect to Neptune and Pisces. You're fighting with your partner. You have a lack of clarity around what they're doing and why they're doing it, but your friends and acquaintances actually, if they're honest, agree with what your partner is doing and they see their perspective in a way that you can't quite comprehend yet. Doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means that that energy will be there. On November 23rd, the sun enters Sagittarius. And so we're moving away from this intense, intimate, focus on our partnerships to a place of, okay, how do I secure the bag in the future? What are my financial responsibilities and liabilities? And also who do I want to be in bed with? Like what it, like, what does that look like? How can I keep that light fun and happy? On November boom, 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 24th, Mars enters Sagittarius further emphasis on everything that I said, you might be wanting to make money moves, invest in the stock, buy something like a big purchase that is something over time, something that builds to like long-term wealth. And then on November 24th to the 27th, we have Mars and Sagittarius in your ninth house, making a square aspect to Saturn and Pisces in your 11th. And the way this might manifest is you are wanting to put your money where your mouth is. And as you're announcing it to your friends, they're like, wait, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> There's like this protective layer that your friends have over you, especially spiritually. And then we have on November 27th, well, and then to add on to that, it will make it difficult for you to move forward because you're listening to the advice of other people asking yourself, am I missing something? Yes. <laughs> Take that advice, but I'm also be your own person. I'm not here for your mongering. Uh, but lastly, on November 27th, we have a full moon in Gemini in your second house. You are releasing a way of making money or relying on people for money or relying on people for financial support. Then you're just saying like, ah, I'm done with it. And it frees you up to make money in a new way or to support yourself in a way that was kind of unexpected, but also really exciting and enlivening.